what is the bhagavad gita perspective on child trafficking as it has been exposed in the movie the sound of freedom answer child trafficking is one of the most horrendous of crimes that the human mind can imagine and especially child sexual trafficking it bespeaks of a perversion of humanity to a level of inhumanity that most people would shudder to think about and millions of children get abducted and they're forced into a life of sexual slavery and this horrifyingly dark underbelly of human society is being broadcast highlighted depicted in the sound of freedom so especially it depicts how mexico seems to be the have become the biggest supplier of children sometimes these children may be just small four five years old sometimes less than 15 and america seems to be the biggest consumer so it is slowly becoming if not exceeding the drug cartel trade i'll talk about this issue broadly with the movie as a take off point is with using three l's so the first l is lust the bhagavad gita in 337 says that kamesha krodesha rajoguna samudbhava mahashano mahapapma vidyenam iha vairinam so mahashano mahapapma says that this is the all devouring sinful enemy so it uh, in the sense we could visualize lust to be like a monster and in one sense if this monster is fed the stronger it becomes and it's it said mahashanu it can devour anything practically that indicates that if we pander to it then it can transgress all boundaries nothing is sacred for lust so while the male female attraction is natural in all species and it is a, essential as a part of the reproduction of species it is within human species that this is seen not just as a function for reproduction but as a source of pleasure and sometimes the source of the greatest pleasure later in the 16th chapter while de- describing the demoniac nature gita says that kamopabhoga parama etavaditi nishchitah in 16 11 and 12 it says that some people especially those who are materialistically minded they believe that this is the prime purpose of life and therefore if this is what life is meant for then why hold back with anything due to anything in the pursuit of what is life's defining purpose so this internal increase in not just materialism or hedonism but you could say in human perversion of humanity it the omnidimensional pursuit of pleasure uh, can make people do such horrendous things it's easy to demonize uh, people who engage in such practices and they need to be of course uh, demonized but at the same a uh, entirely different species they are human beings but by a thousand wrong choices over a period of time a thousand rationalizations done one after another a thousand moral compromises they actually start believing that what they are doing is right and in fact it is their right and in fact they rail against society and social norms which prevent them from dark fantasies so that brings us to the second point again l is loosening of sexual morality and sexual boundaries so as our society has become more modernized or even post modernized 
the traditional boundaries that regulated this enormously powerful energy of sex have been minimized these boundaries have been trivialized or even uh, de- de- demonized as being repressive or regressive and while we may consider say for example pornography we are harmless uh, fantasy wherein a person indulges alone and yes it is true that the vast majority of people who watch porn will not become physically abusive just as the vast majority of people who enjoy violent scenes violent scenes in movies are not themselves going to imitate those violent scenes in real life but still it remains the reality that there are people with dark dominant tendencies who get fueled by the loosening of sexual morality and the easy availability of access to such uh, uh, to to uh, questionable sexual indulgence and while pedophilia is definitely not been uh, legalized in most parts of the world and while sexual exploitation of people is of young children is still being condemned it is one of the few taboos that most human society still accepts even though we recognize we consider taboos to be a taboo itself but even among criminals if somebody is known to criminals in jail if somebody is known to be a child abuser a child sexual abuser what to speak of a child sex trafficker such people are loathed even by criminals but still the way society is going there are more and more moral sexual morality is being loosened and there are attempts to as those people individually that what they are doing is right and they just don't they objectify children and think of them as nothing more than instruments for their pleasure so the gita talks about how there can be intelligence in the mode of ignorance where adharmam dharmam iti ya mannate tamasavrata sarvarthan viparitamsya buddhi sapartha tamasi that where <clears> that uh, some people consider the, the virtues to be not just wrong but terribly wrong to be regressive and repressive almost vicious and they consider the vicious to be not just a right but to be a moral right in this way they come to completely opposite conclusions so while abortion for example is a highly debated issue just a decade ago almost even the proponents of pro life said that abortion should be rare and safe and legal the so legal so that it would be safe but now there are people who are say shout your abortion people tell their abortion stories as if it is a matter as it is a, as it is a trophy of abortion is claimed by some extremists in the pro life lobby as if it were an absolute moral right so if there is this loosening of sexual boundaries then who knows child predators may end up being uh, ex- just another sexual proclivity that society should accommodate in the name of personal freedom and personal autonomy and that's why when such movies come up and especially if such movies do well that shows that hum- people people in human society are still at least to some extent morally aware and morally concerned and this needs to this abuse of children needs to be stopped and that brings us to the last part it is losing one's humanity to one's ideology it is uh, while the movie itself is disturbing to know to what the, the dark reality it depicts uh, but perhaps what is even more disturbing is the reaction to the movie because it has been made by conservatives in america 
the liberal media is consistently panning it and linking it with some right wing conspiracy theories and in general doing everything that it can to dissuade people from watching it so i don't know do we as a human society not have any uh, moral north left at all oh, is a that a place where the at least in one issue that children should not be abducted or tricked be taken away from their parents and then forced practically coerced into a life of sexual slavery child trafficking isn't that one evil that everyone should agree to contend and a movie that depicts how there's a take down thrusting of pressure of such ho- such a horrendous crime uh, oh, that that should be appreciated that at least it's bringing into public awareness the gravity and the extent of this monstrous evil it is a sad day for humanity if we become so blinded by our ideology be it left in this case whether it is left oriented that we can't see any good in humanity uh, in humanity just because we can't see good in a particular human being just because that person belongs to the other pole political pole the gita urges us to see the essential humanity and spirituality that unites all living beings in 1820 it says knowledge or perception in the mode of goodness means that we should see that yet that actually sarvabhuteshu yenaikam bhavam avyam ikshate avibhaktam vibhakteshu tad gyanam vidhisatvikam in 1820 it says that while we all can be different in different ways in terms of our physical complexion our physical height our physical weight so many other differences similarly we could be different in terms of our psychological orientations which include our political orientations but underlying it all we all say share a humanity that is grounded in our spirituality so the gita's wisdom can help us go beyond such extreme political polarization to come together on issues that matter for all of humanity and not, and few things matter any more than the future of our children so the so to summarize the dangers of feeding the monster of lust to what perversity it can lead how such perversity may become accepted if the con- loosening of sexual morality continues on how we shouldn't be losing our humanity to our ideology by focusing on our spirituality there are three l's for the bhagavad gita perspective on the issue of child trafficking with respect to the movie the sound of freedom thank you hare krishna